Hello everyone, we are Team Perfectron and this is our project on deep reinforcement learning for robotic arm manipulation. Robotic arms have different actuators which can move to certain degrees in order to move an end effector to a desired position in space. There are existing techniques to solve the problem of given an initial configuration of the arm, how do you move it to a desired final configuration? And today we wanted to explore uh, some deep learning methods in order to achieve this problem. So the key algorithms that we'll be using are existing algorithms called DDPG, HER, and TD3. We also wanted to explore an extension of TD3, which we called extended twin delay DDPG. So we'll be using an existing implementation of DDPG based on which we'll be expanding the implementations of the other three algorithms. This is a flowchart of how the DDPG algorithm works. The environment provides us with the current state, which we feed into our actor network, which tells us the optimal action that we need to take. Once we take this action, we feed it back into the environment and obtain a reward. The states, actions, and rewards are continuously stored into a replay buffer. A critic network samples experiences from the replay buffer and gives us updates for the actor network. And in this way, the critic and actor networks both get updated to learn the optimal policy that the agent needs to take. Hindsight Experience Replay is an important addition to DDPG, which helps it learn far more quickly. The key idea behind Hindsight Experience Replay is can we learn from failed attempts? So given a current state S1 and a desired goal state SG, we can run the episode to follow a sequence of states and actions leading to a trajectory as follows. We would most likely end up in a state S5 that's not the desired goal state. Hindsight Experience Replay thinks of the final state that we ended up in as a substitute goal and pretends as though this was the goal all along, and we can now learn using this substitute goal. So we would have our standard experiences, which have the state associated with the original goal, the action, the reward, and the next state, as well as our hindsight experiences, which cont contain the state with the modified goal, the same actions, the modified reward, and the next state with the modified goal. And we would store both these experiences into the experience buffer. Twin delay DDPG is a simple extension to DDPG, which has two critic networks, and both of them learn together, and we pick the minimum output of the two networks to use as our update for the actor network. We also update these networks after a small delay and don't update them immediately. The simple extension that we plan to implement is involving three critics instead of two critics, and we wanted to see the results that this produces. OpenAI Gym provides us with a very convenient API for developing deep reinforcement learning algorithms. Here you can see the performance of the four different algorithms that we implemented. You can see how DDPG takes a while to begin converging, and it takes around 600 epochs to reach the same performance as the other algorithms do at 100. Now at this point, all the algorithms have converged and have learned how to move to the desired spot, which is represented by the red dot. Here you can see the training curves for the different algorithms. You can clearly see how DDPG learns much, much slower and learns only at around episode 600, whereas the others learn before 100. We tested our algorithms on a few other environments, such as mountain car, where on the right you can see the cart learning to climb up to reach the flag, as well as the lunar lander, where the purple lander needs to land between the two yellow flags. So some of the challenges that we faced were that the basic implementation of DDPG did not work well. We had to normalize our states for the, for the fetch reach to actually converge quickly. 
There are also many hyperparameters to tune as always, including the network parameters, noise parameters, and the DDPG parameters. Finally, our implementation didn't work well for more complex robotic environments, such as fetch pick and place, because we did not explore enough states where the robotic arm started off in contact with the box. Thank you.